Now, executives in the Sikado Keten constituency have dared the NDC to, pro to prove the allegations of fraud during the 7th December election at the appropriate quarters. Now, speaking at a news conference to address what they describe as lies being speculated by members of the NDC, the Isikado Keten constituency secretary of the NPP, Thomas Amwa, says their victory was free from any form of rigging. He was quick to add that the NPP won 99 polling stations out of the 154 polling stations in the constituency. Has been drawn to spurious and baseless allegations of alleged domestic fraud by the NDC in the recent parliamentary elections. We had received unconfirmed reports that the NDC was seeking to rig the election, so we, the MPP, were alleged on the DD of the election. Voting ended at 5 p.m. with no serious incident being reported by our polling agents at the previous police station. Counting was done at each police station in the full view of the public and the results are very and the result at every police station was declared at each police station. After this, the necessary documentation, the big sheet was duly filed and signed by all the parties present. Our representatives went to the coalition center of the Chicago constituency, which is at the Methodist Church to give war in Chicago. The Electoral Commission officials started receiving the ballot boxes and electoral materials from the air officials who were coming from the various police stations. At the time, any supporters led by their candidates, with Ayin Sudanwa and other party members, including former Minister for National Security, rushed to the coalition center claiming the NDC had won the parliamentary election. The other members who were crying knife, who were carrying knives and other equipment started throwing stones into the college center. There was absolutely no basis for this commotion. Neither was there any basis for the claim that NDC had won the parliamentary elections when the results from the previous police station had not been officially collected and announced by the returning officer. Around 11 p.m., Chris Ayesu and the head team left the police centre having been repelled by the police and military when he sought to take over the coalition centre. Coalition of the presidential results started and ended around 9.50 a.m. Nathalia Kwanza joins us with more. Ina, what else have they been saying at the press conference? So um, they also did talk about the fact that um, there is some allegation in the public space that um, the member of parliament for the Chicago constituents who contested appeared to be more than three, which they officially know. Um, the NPP have been disputing this, saying that during the declaration, the EC only declared three members of parliament, that the NPP member of parliament, the NDC, and uh, the one from Goom. So they should stop um, putting out in the public domain that there were six or more than three um, parliamentary candidates contesting that. They've also signed a, wo a word of caution to the NDC that they are claiming that they've been attacking their members. And so if they wait for a while and they, the NDC does not exist, they will have no option than to retaliate back. And they firmly stand on the fact that they sh the NDC should go to the appropriate quarters and then fight uh, or challenge the election rather than going into the public space. And they should come out with figures and not mere words. Right. And Natalia Kwanza, do we know if the NDC in that area have responded? Well, for this particular press conference, they have not responded yet. Mm. But what have they been saying generally about these issues the MPP has addressed? Daniel, can you come again? I was asking what the, the NDC has been saying about these issues. Well, Daniel, it is in the public domain, especially in the Western region here. I understand um, Dr. Grace Ayes, who has had a press conference earlier, claiming that um, the election was rigged. She, she was leading by some um, tens, uh, not 
points against the NPP parliamentary candidate, but the EC together with the member of parliament, Regan. Daniel, if you would recall very well, a week today um, in the night, we had there was a clash in the Padukesen where between the NPP and NDC supporters, mm. where they were claiming that there was some ballot which was uh, brought in later and those ballot boxes were not sealed. So these are some of the claims the NDC is making that they brought in ballot boxes which were not used. They had won the election, but it was rigged for the member of parliament, um, right. Honorable Joel Gassi. Natalia Kwanza, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Live on Join News today with me, Daniel Daze. Coming up in business, government has shot down a push by some civil society groups for adoption of organic farming as a main agric policy, insisting it will lead to food insecurity. Daryl Kwao has those details after this.